Hey guys, this is Kevin, and I want to look at installing TypeRocket as a must-use plugin. Now the reason for doing this is so that you can use TypeRocket across multiple themes, multiple plugins, without having to have separate installations of TypeRocket per each one, and have them conflict with each other and not really work. It can be a really clunky installation. And then also, must-use plugins are really the most ideal way to install TypeRocket. So let's look at that. And if you need to know more about must-use plugins, you can go check out the WordPress codex for must-use plugins, and they'll have lots of great information there. And we'll come back to that. But to create a must-use plugin for TypeRocket, the first thing we need to do is get into our WordPress installation and move into the WP content directory. So let's do that. And then once we're in here, if I list everything out, we'll see a plugins folder. We need a must use plugins directory. So I'll make a directory called mu-plugins. And then I can see it here. And then if I go into mu-plugins, this is where all of our must use plugins will be installed. So this is the directory where I should put the type rocket installation. So I want to do that now. So we need to do a composer, install, and create project for TypeRocket right here. So we'll do that, and that will pull up uh, TypeRocket into that must use plugins folder. Now, this is not going to install TypeRocket for us. If I jump over to the theme section, if I click on themes, just reload the page, we don't get the dev section. We don't see TypeRocket as installed. And that's because while we've put the TypeRocket folders inside the MU plugin and all the TypeRocket files, we still need an MU plugin to get this type rocket information into our site. So let's do that. So we need to create a plugin. I'm going to call it type rocket. And that's good. And then at the top of the file, we just need a plugin name. And this is a comment to let must use plugins know what we're, this is a plugin. And then we can require type rocket from here. And so type rocket slash init, save that, and then pull this up, and then we should have type rocket installed. There we go. It's in the dev here. Um, we have theme options. That's developer mode comment is down here. And if I activate like the 2016 theme, for example, we still have our theme options. We still have the dev, and we still have this. So type rocket's installed no matter which theme is active. However, you'll notice that this dev icon is missing. And if I click on dev, this page doesn't look right. And that's because we need to let the system know where to look for the type rocket, CSS files, and JavaScript, and that kind of thing. And to do that, we need to change our configuration of type rocket. So if we go to type rocket, config, paths, this is where our path data is, we'll see that it's set up to work against the um, theme that's installed and we don't want that. We actually want it to work with the WPMU plugin. So WPMU plugin URL and we'll do that and then we can just copy that put it here and then this will make sure that we look inside the MU plugins directory find the URL for that and then it'll be under type rocket WordPress assets. And that's where all of the assets and CSS for type rocket are stored. So type rocket, CSS, JavaScript, all that good stuff's in there. So then everything should start working again. Jump over to the theme, refresh. And now type rocket is installed as an MU plugin.